Welcome to the fifth in our series of videos on Planner using Starry Night. In this video, we're going to use Imaginova's Starry Night Planetarium program to help us visualize and set up a plan that runs 11 hours and has five targets. In the next video, we'll do the same thing with Software Bisks the Sky. One of Planner's important features is its integration with planetarium programs, and we'll see how this works in Starry Night. Once Planner is installed, the mouse wheel can be used to control planetarium time. While holding the control key down, each click of the mouse wheel advances or retards time by 30 minutes. The shift and alt keys provide different time increments. Here we're looking straight up, and the outer ring represents 50 degrees altitude. Now let's go back to 7 p.m. and see what the sky has to offer tonight. It's winter time, we have 11 hours to image. Right now, M33 is in a great spot. Two hours later, the Pleiades is in good position, 70 degrees up in the east. Two hours after that, the Crab Nebula is well positioned. Two hours later, at 1 a.m., we have the Clown or Eskimo Nebula at a great spot. It's a faint target, so let's give it three hours. And finally, let's spend a couple of hours on NGC 3344. Okay, we're done with our sky survey. Let's have a look at it in motion. You can expect your sky survey to take longer than the minute it took us. I chose those targets ahead of time to keep the video short. Now let's continue to work in Starry Night to make our five target 11 hour plan. We've rolled time back to 7 p.m., the start of our run, with the mouse wheel. Our first target is M33. Planner's integration with Starry Night allows you to select targets directly from within Starry Night by right-clicking on them. Let's see how this works. Use the HUD to identify the target, right-click, and select Add to Plan. Planner automatically starts if needed and pops into view. The name and the coordinates come from the planetarium. Add two hours of images and then press on to the next target. Holding down the control key, roll time forward four clicks for two hours, and then add the next target, M45. Let's change the name to be similar to the others. And recall that we're going to stay on this target for three hours, so let's use our three hour preset. Roll time ahead three hours this time to get to our next target. Okay, we're done. Total time, less than three minutes. And here's the plan. Upload it to the observatory if needed, start it at 7 p.m., and then go to sleep. 11 hours later, your images will be done, weather permitting. Stay tuned for the next video, which shows the same plan being made in Software Bisks the Sky.